Well, Esther, we don't know at this point. This, as you said, this is the first time Iran has struck Israel from its territory directly into Israel's territory. Normally, they use proxy groups, Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, for example. So uh, we're on unchartered territory. And and Israel is in a very tough spot. They have to make some hard choices because if they strike directly into Iranian territory with a kinetic strike, that would certainly escalate the violence at a time where the globe is calling for restraint and de-escalation. I would note that there were Iranian proxies involved in this attack across the region. In fact, the U.S. did strike down a missile that was preparing to launch from Iraq uh, by one of those Iranian proxy groups. So Israel could choose the route of uh, striking uh, an Iranian-backed proxy group. They could try a non-kinetic attack, like a cyber attack. They could try to single out uh, the drone factories or the missile factories used to make these weapons without directly targeting Iran's military. Or they could use some combination of these. We will just have to see what they do. Carla, the, uh, Israel and the U.S. are calling Iran's attack a failure. What are you learning from Pentagon officials? Yes, Pentagon officials here are calling this a big failure for Iran. Uh, Iran used about 300 aerial uh, aerial weapons to try to hit Israel. About half of them were drones, about half of them were missiles, and none of the drones actually made it into Israeli territory. Only five of the missiles hit Israel, causing very little damage. Uh, in fact, a seven-year-old girl was injured by shrapnel. That was the only injury reported. So the U.S. and its partners are calling this a huge success for the coalition that defended Israel. Uh, I should note Israel defended itself, but the U.S. was able to shoot down about 80 of those drones and about six of those missiles. The U.K., France, and Jordan had their fighter jets and their aircraft shooting down drones as well. And even Saudi Arabia and the UAE were providing intelligence during this uh, counterattack to defend Israel. Carla, there are also concerns that the escalation could broaden again uh, to U.S. service members in the region. Have there been any new attacks, as far as you know, on U.S. forces in the Middle East? That is a big concern here. I've been told by officials that to date there have been no new attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East, U.S. ground forces, I should specify, in the Middle East. But they are on high alert, especially after this attack.